Wait, no, don't leave me. I know it's focusing on you now. Don't yuck my arm. What do you want? I'm hungry. Okay, so I made katsu curry last night for my TikTok video and I have a couple of pieces of the pork left so I was thinking maybe we could have some katsu sando. So let me think, we need white bread. I have the pork already so we don't have to get that. I want to do a little like coleslaw action. I do think I have some cabbages in my fridge. I do have a cabbage in my fridge. I have cabbages. Do I have kewpie mayonnaise? Mayonnaise! Okay, I have mayonnaise, bulldog sauce, and that's pretty much it. Mask. Oh my god, my mask is so gross. Does anyone get this? Johnny, you probably get this all the time, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's so gross. Bye. But I will use this. Again, my favorite shopping bag because why? You gotta represent what you love. Let's go. Wait, so is this actually a bay leaf? Wait, actually the Ew, oh, there's like bug. Is it focusing? You can see it there. Huh. Wait, should I actually put it th put this in like adobo? So I ended up getting a handful of stuff that wasn't bread. The white bread in there was just like, I wasn't feeling it. Like what I'm looking for is like wonder bread, like, you know, shitty white bread. Oh, but they didn't have that because it's Waitrose and it's fancy and I guess like people don't want to eat white bread. But we're going to go to Sainsbury's to set, check out if they have anything that I'm looking for. My loins are so tight, like open the gate, close the gate. Wait, no, don't leave me. Ah, now I feel better. This one? Yeah. It says it's supposed to be thick, but... <laughs> um, actually, I think this is way too small. Yeah, and like, I don't want the crust anyway, so I'll yeah. get this one. Dude, I swear I go to the grocery store to get two things and I, I just end up with this. Always happens, every time. Like I can't be the only one. Okay, so I got my two lemons and my bread right here. And I'm gonna put away the rest of the stuff. Let's get ready to make some katsu sando. A lot of people were asking what type of breadcrumbs I was using and this is the panko of my choice. Um, it is a Korean brand um, and I really like it because the individual breadcrumbs are quite big. So for the batter, we're gonna do three parts. First, we're gonna dip the pork into the flour mixture and that's just gonna be around half a cup of flour and a pinch of kosher salt. Next, we're going to prepare the batter. What was the batter? One egg, two tablespoons of flour, um, one fourth cup of water, and a pinch of salt. So this looks pretty good to me. A few lumps, but honestly, it's, it's fine. This is just some leftover panko that I have from yesterday, so I will use that. This is pork loin. And I love using this cut because it has a bit of like fattiness in it and it makes the tonkatsu all tonkatsu it makes the tonkatsu a lot more juicier and I like the little fat cap on it as well. This is around one centimeter thickness. Because it's so thin, there's really no need for me to like pound it down and beat my meat. So I'm going to season the meat with a generous amount of salt. You wanna salt both sides and I'm also going to do a little bit of black pepper I'm using neutral oil and neutral oil is just any oil that doesn't have a strong flavor of its own and something preferably with a high smoke point I'm gonna fill up the oil about halfway you don't want to go over because you obviously don't want the oil to 
overflow and there's flames involved, it's not a good idea. We're waiting for the oil to come up to temperature. We're ideally aiming for about 175 degrees Celsius um, or uh, uh, that's 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that what I wrote in my recipe? Let me check. Clarification, it is 355 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's actually 180 degrees Celsius. When we drop the pork in, the temperature naturally goes down. So in order to think about that buffer, um, I put the heat a little bit high so that the oil drops to 175. First, you wanna coat it in some flour. Make sure all the crevices are covered. Dust off any excess flour. Now we're gonna go into the batter. So reserve one hand for dry and one hand for wet so that you don't end up with clumpy giant dough hands. Let some of the excess batter drip off and into the panko it goes. And make sure the panko is tightly packed in. I'm gonna drop the pork cutlet in. Beautiful. And we wanna fry it for about three to four minutes on each side or until golden brown. This looks pretty much done to me. And you wanna put it on top of a wired baking tray so that some of the excess oil drips off. And you really, I cannot stress the importance of letting it rest. You gotta let it rest for the crust to get crispy and for the pork to rest so that all the juices stay intact. Because cabbages have a lot of layers, um, there tends to be a lot of gunk in like in between the layers, which I don't like. So I'm just gonna like wash the shredded cabbage in water. And this also helps like crisp it up as well. We got our shredded cabbage, just kind of rinsing it in the water and I'm gonna drain it out. One. Okay, so this is about like two cups to two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I like adding a little bit of mustard into this as well. I feel like it brings out some of its flavors and sweetness. So I'm gonna put one teaspoon of mustard. I do like my coleslaw to be even more acidic, so I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. So give that a mix. Nice and sassé. I'm gonna give that a taste. This is a lot, actually. Oh. Eat your whole hand. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I want a little bit of sweetness, so I'm gonna put a teaspoon of honey. That's good enough. She learns. <laughs> good. Okay. Oh my god, unboxing video. We got our crust two slices of mankind's greatest invention after sliced cheese, sliced bread. First thing, I want a layer of the katsu, so I'm gonna gently place it on. And I want this katsu to have bulldog sauce. We're gonna get saucy. On top of this, you want to put a beautiful layer of the shradish that we just made. Like that. If you want these to look perfect, you want to saran wrap it and leave it alone for like five minutes. I'm gonna cut some of the crust off because I forgot to do that. And yes, we will be eating all the crust and the little bits of katsu. We're just doing it. Yeah, we're just doing it for the thumbnail.
Tuang nyat bayam It's so juicy too of this and probably take a nap. I'll have weekly vlogs of me cooking. Comment below if you want to see something cool or if you have any suggestions and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye!